everybody, you have Tasha Y. Miller here, and today we're going to be talking about how to keep your writing resolution and write more this year. Number one, getting the writing habit. So the worst part about writing is the time. You don't ever seem to have enough time. Well, you need to figure out a way that works for you to get in the habit of writing every single day, even if it's just for half an hour. Here are some ideas. You can take a random big container, this is a cheese ball container, and write little sentences of, on a little piece of paper and pick one out every single day and write about it. Or you can not put it in a tub and just write it on a, a notebook and continue on with that sentence. So you have one sentence and then you go back the next day and you make that sentence into a paragraph. Then you make that sentence into two pages and then you make it into four. And then it goes on and on and on until you get into the writing habit. So you don't have to spend four or five hours writing. Yes, ideally, you want to spend at least an hour or two. But if you're spending just a half an hour, that is a perfect start. As long as you are devoting some amount of time in your day for writing, it'll start becoming a habit. Number two, getting in a writing group. Writing groups you can do anywhere. You just have to go maybe to the local college, look up on Google and see if there's any that are nearby. I know that a lot of people have big writing book clubs. Number three, getting a critique buddy. They can actually be a writing partner. So you can meet up at Starbucks and start talking about writing. As long as you're talking about it and then progressing to actually writing, it'll be effective. Number four, choose a time. If it's two o'clock, if it's five o'clock, if it's seven o'clock at night, seven o'clock in the morning, whatever time works for you. And at that time, you drop what you're doing, unless of course it's an emergency, and you write something. So you can take 15 minutes to half an hour to even more as long as you're writing something at that time. Number five, watching a movie and writing down the cool stuff that you see. So this one is not for you to progress your novel. Um, this is just to keep you writing and keep that mind going and maybe get some cool ideas, but you don't want to steal it from the movie. So what I mean by this is you're watching some type of fantasy when you're watching someone fly in that broom if you're watching Harry Potter or if you're watching some type of fight scene, you're going to be jotting down and writing what you see. Have someone else read it and if they can see the picture or even match it to the movie. So this is just going to help you with your writing skills and help you to get in the hang of showing and not telling. Number six, write about the book. This one is for the ones that can't do it every single day, but they want to start doing it at least once a week. Go to Barnes & Noble or another bookstore and find a book that you want. Read that book. Hopefully you read relatively fast. And then basically tell me a run through at least three to five pages of what that book was about. Now, this is just to get your writing going. This is just to get those ideas, just to practice more. Um, this is not to steal other people's work. These are just ideas to get your mind moving and you writing more. Number seven. Give yourself a deadline. So say you have a month to write a 50,000 word. So that right there should motivate you to write more because you have a deadline. So if you don't work well with deadlines, this one may not work for you, but I know that I work a little better when I have a deadline. Number eight, making a song be your writing inspiration. So what I mean by this is choosing one of your favorite songs or song that you think that will do really well with the type of writing that you're doing. So if you want an action song where you're going to be fighting something, maybe you're going to go more towards the rock. But if you're wanting a love song, maybe you're going to go towards R&B because you want to do some juicy romance. Using that music 
to let that pin move and you write more. You can do it just for one song or you can do it for five songs or you can put one song on repeat and do it for an hour. <laughs> However you want to do it, it's just to make that music inspire you to write more. Number nine, use your text-to-speech. Now, a lot of people don't like writing with a pen or a pencil because they don't like the typing pro uh, process after, where you have to put it all on the computer. Well, instead of having that computer shine at you and you get distracted or you just get tired, you hurt your eyes, actually use your text-to-speech on your phone. Go to your email and start saying what you want instead of writing it. You're texting it on the email and you can copy and paste it on your Word or Scrivener or wherever you're putting it. Now, I do have to say that it's not going to be perfect because text-to-speech, as you probably know, doesn't always get every single word right. So you are going to have to do immediate edits at least to check if the word is correct. But that's a great way to do it when you're on the go or if you're stopped at a stoplight, just pop it up and put it down and then you're done. Last but not least, number 10, get out of your house. Go somewhere on your own. Go to a bookstore, go to a coffee shop, go anywhere where you can bring your laptop or you can bring a, a pen and paper. So some, for some reason, this happens to me too, when we are home, there's so much stuff to do. You know, there's dishes, we gotta clean, we gotta vacuum, we gotta do, we gotta full laundry, just endless things to do. Or there's a TV and internet to distract us. So go somewhere, if you get distracted with internet, go somewhere without internet and start writing. Go for an hour, go for two. I've been out there where I was like, I'm gonna just go for an hour. And then I was out for like three or four hours. I got half my book done. Of course I had to edit and I didn't use some of it, but I wrote a lot in that day. All right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully that was helpful. And I am sorry for the different type of camera that I'm using today. It's a very fast video that I had to do because I have a busy, busy life, but I love all of you and I wanted to make a video. All right, so go ahead and tweet me at Tasha Y. Miller or go to my website, www.toshawymiller or you can comment down below. I would love to know what type of things you do to write more. Bye.